Hello everyone, here in this video today, um, I will be making a video talking about, well, first of all, this is going to be a response, a uh, late response to um, Dicing Son. So he asked me if the FLR can be used in conjunction with the Burlet Self Teacher Series. And I've never used the I've never used the Burlet Self Teacher Series before. So I basically, um, I got the books recently and I looked through them. Um, well, first I had to go, I watched Professor Argelia's video. He did an overview on those Burlet Self Teacher books. And I thought they were very interesting. So I went on ahead and ordered a few of those books and just kind of look through it to see how they work and I try to use the, uh, my technique with them and I think it works so I mean this technique would be it, it can work for any course it work for any course it's all about it's just the FLR just like basically um, expanding what you you know expanding the sentences and just 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 being creative and expanding everything so I mean it will work for any for any course so this burl is here let's see yeah, this the Burl itself teacher. You guys can see. And like I said, Professor Argelius, he he um he made a video on these a while back. And he did he did an overview on these and yeah, I like the methodology here. It's, it's you know, they they go a lot of repetition and it's I will say it's natural. It's it's a very natural way of learning a language. So, yeah, FLR will work in conjunction with this course here so this is the um, the Burl itself teacher for Spanish and I also got it for the Burl itself teacher French because I've been um, I've been working on my French lately also so yeah this is yeah so yep yeah, they're really good and um, yeah so I'm going to show you guys Show you dicing sign and all of you how to use the FLR technique with this with this series here. So I basically went to let's see, is this chapter? Yo, this is like chapter 19. Okay, so this is chapter 19, and basically, uh, let's see. So I took the first line here, and they say, uh, let's see, do you like strawberries? Do you like strawberries? Uh, uh, les gustan a ustedes las fresas? Do you like strawberries? So I'm going to show you guys how you how you um, how you use the FLR technique with these type of um, sentences here. So I'm going to um, go ahead and use Spanish here, and uh, I'm going to probably butcher it a little bit. So for my usual disclaimer it's not going to be perfect so if, if I make some mistakes here with your Spanish let me know corrections and I will appreciate it so I'm gonna go ahead and give my uh, horrible Spanish a shot so let's try it okay so that first one do you like strawberries so we want to do some FLR here so what we want to do here so let's see les gustan a ustedes las fresas Les gustan a ustedes las fresas. So do you like strawberries? This was in that Burles book, okay? So from this, I'm going to use FLR. And this is how I use FLR. And those of you who watch the FLR, FLR um, videos, you know that these are all, um, these underlying words, they're like keywords. So, okay, so from this les gustan a ustedes las fresas, this is what I got. Quiero les preguntar Porque dentro de poco, después de estudiar español, um, me gustaría comprar las fresas. Okay. Quiero les preguntar porque dentro de poco, después de estudiar español, uh, me gustaría comprar las fresas. Okay. So, from that... From from that, do you like do you guys like strawberries? I, this is what I got. So I I um I want to ask you guys to you plural. So I want to ask because <clears throat> shortly dentro de poco shortly or soon después de estudiar español. So shortly after 
I study Spanish. Me gustaría comprar las fresas. So, shortly after I study Spanish, I would like to buy, I would like to buy strawberries. Okay, I would like to buy strawberries. So that's how you expand it. Okay, I, and just using keywords and whatnot, just being creative. So, um, I want to ask you because shortly after I study Spanish, I would like to buy strawberries. Okay, and that's based off of that, that sentence there. Okay, more down here. Uh, let's see. Okay. No hay duda de que les gustan comer las fresas. Así que dentro de poco compraré las fresas, mis amigos. No hay duda de que les gustan comer las fresas. Así que dentro de poco compraré las fresas, mis amigos. Okay. So this is no doubt. Okay, no doubt that you guys like to eat strawberries. Therefore, shortly or soon, I will buy strawberries. Okay, so no doubt that you guys like to eat strawberries. Therefore, shortly or soon, I will buy strawberries. And as I said before, all of these words here, underlined in green, those are keywords. No I do the decay. That's no doubt. Okay, no I do the decay, no doubt that. So no doubt that. And then así que is therefore. Dentro de poco. Dentro de poco is shortly or soon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next one. Okay. Como les gustan comer las fresas, me gustaría comprar muchos antes de empezar a estudiar los idiomas con mis amigos. Como les gustan comer las fresas, me gustaría comprar muchos antes de empezar a estudiar los idiomas con mis amigos. Okay, so, I didn't write the translation for this, but this como, okay, first of all, como means since, como, since, and antes de empezar, antes de empezar, this is before, like before I began, before I began, antes de empezar. So, uh, since you guys like to eat strawberries, I would like to buy a lot before I start, before I begin, or before I start to study languages with my friends. Since you guys like to eat strawberries, I would like to buy a lot before uh, before I study, or before be, before I start, before I begin to study languages with my friends. Con mis amigos. Okay? So, como les gustan comer las fresas me gustaría comprar muchos antes de empezar a estudiar los idiomas con mis amigos. Okay? So, como, since, so, antes de empezar. So, those are all keywords you guys should have learned uh, if you're following the FLR technique. All right? So, that's how you do it. It's, it's pretty simple. You just got to be creative. All right. So, I have more over here. There. Let's see. Can you guys see that? Nah. Move. move it up a little bit. Okay. So, last one here using the FLR. Still talking about strawberries. So, parece que no me, yeah, parece que no me tan gusta las fresas como ustedes, pero como les gustan hablar. Aterica las fresas. Después de estudiar español, trataré de comprar muchos las fresas cuando voy al mercado esta noche. I forgot something. I just realized it. So after, uh, let's see. Las fresas como ustedes, pero como, como les gustan hablar aterica las, fresa, la, las fresas, todo el tiempo. I forgot to write. Todo el tiempo after... Let me write it here. Okay, todo el tiempo. I forgot to write this after the um, aterica, aterica las fresas, todo el tiempo. Okay. So, parece que no me tan gusta las fresas como ustedes. Pero como, 
uh, pero como les gusta hablar acerca 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 las fresas todo el tiempo después de estudiar español trataré de comprar muchos las fresas cuando voy al mercado esta noche ok so our our keywords here parece que parece que parece que means it seems it seems that so parece que it seems that um okay it seems that como again como well this is different como this time como is like or similar to so como similar to and como here means since so i know um usually if you have the accent over old como it means how but these don't these don't have the, the accent on top so just you you distinguish them through context so Como, this como is similar to, and this como is since. Um, Aterica means about. Aterica. Okay, aterica. Uh, and then we have después de. Después de. So, um, después de is after. So, después de. Trata, trataré de. Now, the regular form of trata, it should be, um, the regular form, it will look like this. But here it's in the future tense. So, tratar de that means um, try to do something. You try to do something. So, tratar de. So I will will try to do something. And then cuando is when, as in like when something occurs. When I go to the store. Or when I do this. When I do that. All right. And total el tiempo. That's another keyword. Total temp. Total el tiempo is all the time or always. Okay. So parece que no me. Uh, parece que no me tan gusta, no me tan gusta. That's another key word, actually. Mm -hmm. The tan. The tan is tan como. Tan is like as, blah, 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 as. Okay? Like not as big as you, not as smart as you. That tan, tan, blah, 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 como, blah. So here, parece que no me tan gusta las fresas como ustedes. So... It seems that it seems that I don't like I don't like strawberries as much as you guys. So parece que no me tan gusta las fresas como ustedes. I don't it seems that I don't like I don't like strawberries as much as you guys. Pero como les gustan hablar acerca las fresas todo el tiempo. Pero but como since you guys since you guys like since you guys like to talk about strawberries all the time. Since you guys like to talk about strawberries all the time, después de estudiar español, trataré de comprar muchos. So since you guys like to talk about um, strawberries all the time, after I study Spanish, I will try. I will try to buy a lot of a lot of strawberries. After I study Spanish, I will try to buy a lot of strawberries. So trataré de comprar muchos las fresas. Cuando voy al mercado esta noche. So, cuando, so, when I go to the market tonight. So, cuando is when. So, cuando voy al mercado esta noche. So, when I go to the market tonight. All right. So, it seems that, it seems that I don't like strawberries as much as you guys. But since you guys like to always talk about strawberries, after I get done studying, or after I study Spanish, I will try to buy. I will try to buy a lot of strawberries when I go to the market tonight. So yeah, that's what you do. That's that's FLR right there. And like I said, you just have to be creative with everything. There are so many. I can go. I can go on for hours using FLR, talking about strawberries, just using different ways of being creative. So you just got to be creative using different keywords and whatnot. So that's what the FLR is all about. And like I said, when. You, for this burlesque self teacher, yes, you can use you can use the FLR with this burlesque self teacher um, method. Okay, any other any other book it will work. So, yeah, that's how you do it, and um, I hope that helped you guys. And I will be making another video, probably not today, but sometime this weekend, on how to use a living language in conjunction with FLR. I also want to mention this book here. I got this recently this is a um span easy spanish reader okay and those of you who are beginners like myself 
in Spanish, I would recommend getting this. This is great. This is very good. Easy Spanish reader. And this one comes, this is this one comes with a CD. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. It has a lot of readings, and you can download MP3s to MP3 players. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said, my Spanish isn't great. So if you guys notice any mistakes or whatnot, just let me know and um, it's okay. We'll make a video response. All right. All right. So that's it for this video. And I um, thank you guys for viewing. And I, like I said, I hope it helped. And uh, I look forward to talking with you guys soon. Thanks for viewing the video.